What's up YouTube? It's Tor Heiner bringing you a update with the new weekly snapshot. This one is uh, 12W17A and it has quite a few awesome additions I think. Uh, first let's go over this. The recipe for books has changed. It now requires three pieces of paper and a piece of leather. Which it kind of makes sense. Leather wasn't being used for much and now they're trying to give it a new use. And I mean, how often do you see books where the covers are made out of hard wood, you know? I, I think old books were made out of leather-bound tomes of paper. So it has some semblance of meaning to the way they've changed it. The next is going to be the fact that you can now create writable books or editable books, whatever you want to call them. This, basically, the book, the feather, and the ink sack gives you a book and quill. Once that's in your inventory, you can right click and it brings up your page here. So we're going to call this page. The text is going to be Torhan is Awesome. And now we want to title it. So we'll title it Who is Awesome by me. And we'll close it. Now that the book has been completed, you can see in your inventory when you hover over it, it gives you the title and who it was by. And then you right click and it gives you the actual book, the text on the page. So I'm pretty happy with this edition. Uh, adventure maps are going to get a really nice boost from this, I think. Instead of having a million signs to read, you just read the book. The next thing is the half slabs. Now act like wood slabs and they come in every color. Uh, they don't have the stairs yet, which has made me sad because I can't really do a colored archway without the stairs but they now act like wood, so your axe will pick these up appropriately. Next, with the silk touch pick, like I have here, you're able to pick up your glass panes again. And the one that's gonna make a lot of you guys happy, you can pick up ice blocks with silk touch again. So yeah, you guys, it's a pretty good snapshot. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty happy with it. And they did fix the GUI bug with the, uh, the GUI scale. Now you can change it. And it doesn't break the game. Yay. Because I know that in the last update that was still breaking the game if you changed it. So that's that's a good change for them. Um, but really, I mean, it's it's a pretty good update, I think. They've given us a bunch of things we wanted. Uh, though changing the, uh, the book recipe I think might make a few people mad. Because now it's going to be a little harder to make your books. Because instead of just, you know, farming trees and reed or sugar cane, now you got to breed cows for the leather. So it does it does add a little bit more to making a book in your... Essentially, add a little bit more at work to making a enchantment room or bookcases, but overall, I think it's it's worth it. Um, I fail jump there, ha ha. But yeah, you guys, I think it's uh, it's a good update. Let me know your thoughts. I'm curious to see what everybody else is thinking. Um, I know I'm pretty happy with it, but that's that's me. Other people may not be so happy with it. I'd be curious to hear what your guys' thoughts or opinions are. So yeah, go ahead and uh, you know leave a comment, like, subscribe if you're interested. Otherwise, I'm probably just going to keep this as a pretty short video. The update's not really big, but it does have a few things I wanted to let you guys know about. And so here's the video with the update. If you guys you know have some comments, leave them below. Otherwise, take care, everybody. Hope you're having a great day, and peace.